Welcome. In this video, I will show you how you can reuse your local cached application lenses and import them into Snap Camera Server. I will also cover how to use the advanced search functionality and how you can even improve your experience by providing custom hashtags or custom images for your lenses. Okay, before we start, Let's head over to the project page on GitHub. If you want to get your own copy of Snap Camera Server running on your local system, there is now actually a step by step video tutorial where you can follow along and it will basically have all the steps covered on how to get your local copy running. The installation of Snap Camera Server is not part of this video. Before we can start Snap Camera, we need to start our local Snap Camera Server. So let's head over to Docker Desktop. We can start the server by clicking the play button at the top. Note there's actually five play buttons. That's because the server is consisting of four different parts and you want to click the play button at the top you will get the status running four of four and that means snap camera server is running and we can now start snap camera i will now show you how to import your local cached application lenses into the Snap Camera server. I created a new project called Snap Lens Cache Import. And that project provides a upload form that will allow you to drag and drop your local cache lenses and have them uploaded to your server. You can find the link to the upload form also on the official Snap Camera Server project page in this area. Or you go to the Snap Lens Cache Import project and you click on this link. There is a settings.json file inside your local application folder and also a subfolder called cache. And inside that subfolder, there's another folder called Lenses. Here is the settings JSON. This is the cache folder, and this is the Lenses folder, which has all your local stored lenses inside a folder with the lens ID. You most likely have your cached local lenses backed up in a different folder. For the sake of this video, I also created another folder called example. You need to drag and drop your settings JSON onto the web form. And then you need to drag and drop your lens ID folders also onto the area. You can now simply click the Start Import button and have your cache lenses imported into your local server. If your server runs on a different port or a different address, you may change this in this field. Right now, there is no visual confirmation that the import succeeded, but we can actually verify that manually. Let's switch over to our Snap Camera application. Inside our Snap Camera application, we can use the search functionality to search for one of our imported lens IDs 
or we can use the keyword import. Imported lenses are identified by a username called import and placeholder images. In this example, there's only one lens showing up. That means all the other lenses that I try to import have been backed up by the backup relay server. So they used to be in the server before I started the import. I will now show you how to change the placeholder images with a custom image and how you can also edit your lens information like the lens name or the username. You head over to your Snap Camera Server project folder and inside that project folder there is a subfolder called Import. All your imported lenses will show up in this subfolder identified by the lens ID. You can see all the media files inside the lens folder for each imported lens and we can actually go and change them. To keep things short, let me just quickly edit these files inside paint.net. I will drag the files inside here and then I will just copy and paste a silly image from the internet. I'm not trying to win an image editing award here. I'm just trying to provide a quick example. Let's save all of these free images. And they're now changed. Now what we need to do is we will most likely have to restart Snap Camera because Snap Camera is also caching the image files in memory. I switch over to Snap Camera and I actually close the application. Make sure it's fully closed, not only closed on your desktop. You need to check your tray icons. I restart Snap Camera. I can now search for my lens ID or I can type in the import key again. And now you see I'm having custom images for my lens. Finally, I will show you how to edit your lens information, like the lens name, which is in this case just the lens ID, the lens username, and even provide custom tags for all your lenses. Let's switch over to our web browser and type in localhost colon 8080. We will see a login form where we can log in to our database server and the login information for the database server is provided inside the .env file 
by default that login information is username root password one two three four five six and database is snap camera we log in and we should now see something like this inside our database manager we can now search for the lens id let's copy it from here and paste it into the search field you will now see two list items one called lenses and the other called unlocks you click on lenses then you need to click on edit and here in this web form you can actually edit your lens information there's some information that you should not touch you shouldn't touch this field or the URLs unless you know what you're doing. Also, you should never ever change the unlockable ID field. But what you can change and edit is the user display name. I will change the name import to awesome cat and the lens name to some really creative name and there's a new feature that is not available in the original snap camera application but i patched it in this is the tagging feature i can now provide custom tags for my lenses for example if you have a lens that you would like to use for twitch you can tag it with hashtag twitch you can also provide more than one hashtag. If this is a lens you would also like to use for Zoom, then you might type in Zoom and maybe some additional meta information, like if this is a funny lens, we can also tag this with funny. Now you click down here on the Save button. And I can now go back to my snap camera application and let me quickly research okay it's still cached that means we need to close the snap camera application or no i just had to i just had to uh, unselect it it was selected and you see the changes immediately you see some really creative name by awesome cat and what i can do now is i can actually search by hashtags i can search by twitch i can search by zoom or if i type in some non-existent hashtags of course i will see nothing i can search by funny and this is a way how we can categorize our own lenses and we don't need to use the ugly favorites feature of the application for the end of this video let me show you some additional search examples that are supported by snap camera server you can of course search by a creator name without special syntax you can search by lens id you can search by an hash you can search by a lens link with the hash included or you can search by an unlock URL and it's all supported. 
some final words. If you're having problems with the cache import, then please go to the SnapLens cache import webpage and go to the issues section and create an issue. Or if you are having problems with the Snap Camera server, do the same thing on the Snap Camera server project page. I hope this helps you and thanks for watching and and that's it.